Hi guys, we're back and we wanted to talk today about, we had a question from one of our viewers, Mike, who has a dog with aggression issues and he was told by apparently the e-collar trainer in your town that you can't use an electronic collar to work with aggression. And I, let me rephrase that, Mike, they can't do it. So we deal with aggression issues all the time down. But I will tell you the... You know, there's a there's a definitely a right way to do it, and the the most dangerous kind of dog to work with, you know, regardless of what kind of tools you're training with, is the handler aggressive dog. The stranger aggressive dog, you can assume the role of the handler, and then everything's fine. The handler aggressive dog, if you're a stranger and you assume the role of the handler, then you're going to become the victim of the dog's behavior. So. It's very, very important to introduce the collar in a very impersonal way. And what we do is, this is a dog that was brought to us for extreme handler aggression, especially towards the husband, but, but to the whole family, he would get something out of the trash, and then, God forbid, they tried to take it away, then he would go all dog day afternoon on them and you know you can tell people we'll show it's about that's a little hard when you got nothing and the dog's got teeth this long so what you want to do with the thing like that is you need to have the handler introduce the collar down you don't take the dog try to show the dog you're the friend because that's just setting you up for failure right there the reason the collar is going to be so effective with dealing with aggression issues with a handler aggressive dog is because it's impersonal. Anything personal to a handler aggressive dog, and we always talk about the people that are seeing through things through the filter. The handler aggressive dog is seeing things through the filter. So its little filter says, any little move you make that might be encringing on my space, I'm going to use the behavior that I've always used to keep you back in line. So you guys see, have seen us down do the walking with the dog. If we have somebody, when they first came and brought this dog, I had them do the walking and I did the remote. I did not take the dog and start making a bunch of wacky statements like, oh, dogs love me. Let me show him I'm his friend. I didn't act like anybody. I was nobody. I had them do the walking, I directed everything, I had them do the walking, and then we put the dog in the cage. Once they were out of the picture, then I got the dog and started doing the walking and all that, and that's been a couple years ago now, but Nick was really slated to be put down because the aggression issues, when you have a dog that's handler aggressive, you know, that's really not mutually exclusive, that it's not aggressive towards strangers. He would be friendly towards strangers, but the problem is once he got to know them, then they would become the victim of the attacks. Not to mention he would run completely away if he got the leash off. So the reason the collar is good under that context is because it's impersonal. Anything personal directed towards the handler aggressive dog is going to make you the victim of the attack. So now the dog starts going after you. Now what are you going to do? You know, they are not all made of marshmallows and cotton candy like some people want to believe. Anyway, so we're just going to give Nick a little run through, but you want to, with the handler aggressive dog, remain impersonal. I mean, and this dog has been trained now and he's very, very successful. They continue to use the collar. Luckily, they're not the type that insists on knowing, when can we not use the collar anymore? You couldn't pry this out of these people's hands. And if that's what it takes to be successful, you know, I'm all for that. I mean, you know, we're not, with an older dog that's had aggression issues and behavior problems, you know, the collar is your insurance that you can control the dog. So we're going to give Nick a little run through, but I'm just going to kind of show you, you know, the impersonality of the collar is what makes it successful. But if you are going to introduce the collar to a handler aggressive dog, it needs to be done by virtue of motion commands, any kind of aggression behavior. The collar needs to be introduced via motion commands. What you don't want to do is start trying to get the dog to sit and using the collar. If you've got the dog in motion, you know, you're, you're going to have less chance of the dog feeling like that's a personal attack. If you're right there saying sit, trying to introduce a collar, yeah, that's, that's going to seem, that's not going to be impersonal. Nick, heel. You know, when you can train a dog of any age, this dog was older when we got him for training. Good boy. Good boy. 
So I'm going to give him the necklace. It's going to be all very impersonal. Heel. I'm not looking at the dog. I'm not directing, you know, anything towards the dog down. What a good little boy. He's a wonderful dog. And you can see what he does. He does posturing by curling that paw under. You do want to kind of look for that. And what you don't want to do, a dog like this isn't looking to be petted. Down. Good. So verbal praise, food, hopefully the handler aggressive dog that you have likes food. Good boy. Good heel. Down. Wonderful. Nick heel. But yeah, this dog would run completely away once the leash was gone prior. Down. And I'm not going to tell you guys, it's not always easy to train them. And you're going to have to, you know, ease into escalating your level of control. But they can't just take that all in one day. You're not going to just come in with the handler aggressive dog, show it who the boss is, and then all is going to be well. One, because they're not ready for that. And you're, you're just going to get yourself in a bind if you do that. Nick, heel. So if you guys need any more help, and Mike, I, you got the ebook, so I'm going to help you with all that. Rule of thumb, though, always introduce the collar by virtue of motion commands. Always, always, always. Bye, guys.